Greetings. Uh, welcome to the Bondi Scrapper channel. Uh, today's video is about uh, is one of those pull it to bits videos, um, and it's a, a UPS that I picked up off uh, out of a dumpster. And uh, I had done one of these before a long time ago. Um, they weigh absolute heaps. They weigh a good twenty kilos, and uh, the last one that I got. I actually walked home to Columbus carrying it, um, and boy, was I knackered at the end of it. So, uh, but good for the biceps. So uh, let's uh, get into it, take it apart. We don't need much. Phillips head screwdriver, based on memory, and a pair of side cutters. And we should get out of it a lot of wires, some lead acid batteries, and maybe a transformer, I think. Um, so yeah, let's go. Grab a coffee, I have. So here we are. Um, the video about taking it apart disappeared and the keen eyed among you might notice that uh, I have different clothes on. Uh, I have a different cup of tea, or cup of tea now instead of a cup of coffee. Uh, luckily I had a second one of these downstairs that I can pull to bits, but uh, put the front cover off, which just ripped off, and then a couple of screws holding this metal part on. Uh, the batteries in this one are just like the other one. They are bulging. They're totally exploded, but not leaking, luckily. And uh, there we go, can you see? So I've got to pull a few screws out, get this chassis to pieces. Um, we've got to motherboardy printed circuit board type item up here, up the top. These two screws I'm pulling out at the moment hold a little rail in that holds the batteries in. Um, what else have we got here? This screw down here that holds the back cover in. There's another one on the other side. Just a little cable retainer, and then we can get inside, pull the cable off the battery. Just here, that's a transformer, it's got a bit of copper in it, it's probably about the best thing in there. Batteries are worth uh, 50 cents a kilo, and there's about seven or eight kilos of batteries there. Cutting the cables off the transformer, and that'll enable the uh, this back pane to hinge backwards, come off. That's that bit done. Transformer there. Which I'm guessing that's probably got tops a half a kilo of copper in it. It's not that hard to pull apart. 
not that I've done one yet. But that's all laminated pieces of iron or steel. And uh, there's four bolts that hold it all together. So I'm assuming removing the bolts will help make all the laminates come to pieces. And then the copper coil will just uh, fall out with a bit of persuasion from a hammer. So there we go, nice chunky transformer. And I think this, it's, I'm going to pull this to bits and make a video of it because I think it actually might be, instead of being wire, it is actually copper sheet. That's how it appears to be, but that could well be wrong. Uh, this one here holds the, the battery pack in. Tape there. So the batteries, because I've expanded, not just sliding out, you've got to actually use a bit of brute force and ignorance to get the pieces. Um, so what I did with the other one, I just grabbed it. Because that there should pivot down and just slide out. These little side rails just here, just there, they should just pivot upwards and fall out. But as I said, it's all squished in together now. So what you've got to do is do that and then suddenly the batteries become available for removal. Um, all those out and I'll just go to the shred pile there's not even that much screen on this it'd be only that plus the other bit two cents worth of steel so I'll throw that over to the side the battery can go up there This isn't coming apart. Oh, there we go. This isn't coming apart. Too many wires, I think. So let's start cutting. When in doubt, cut the wires off. Done. So let's see. We still got yes, we've still got some memory going. So there you go. The phone hasn't run out this time. Oh, I'm looking forward to buying a new phone when something reasonably priced comes up. Um, so what are we going to get off here? Uh, aluminium, four aluminium heat sinks. Uh, tiny little transformer just there. Um, some, I think they're relays, but there's a little copper core in that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Uh, and a couple of bits of burnt copper, number two copper, windings copper, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, in this one, and this one, and that one. So you can rip all those off, and um, there'll be a little bit of money there. And uh, there's another... Minor little transformer type thing just there on that little circuit board. So um, there's not a lot to it. You're not going to get a lot out of it. I reckon at most at the scrap yard you might get you get three dollars fifty for the batteries. If you pull that to bits, that'll give you another two dollars fifty. 
plus all the rest of the stuff. At best, I reckon eight bucks, maybe probably seven there, because prices are down. So if you can sit on it for a while until the prices come back up again. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's a UPS done. Um, not much in it. So now we'll do the outroduction. Outroduction? I don't know the ending part. Um, back into the uh, back into the t-shirt and yeah, back to Saturday morning. Bye. Right, that's the deal there. Um, so what have we got out of that? Not as good as the last one that I did that was chock full of batteries. What did I say that it was? So we had batteries. There we go. Batteries and we worked out that was about three dollars fifty worth, something like that. I've got a transformer that I'll break down just for the fun of it, but uh, as that stands, that was five, that was a dollar fifty, so six fifty. A little bit of copper. There might be fifty cents worth of other copper there. Um, a bit of that. A couple hundred grams there. So there's, I don't know, there's maybe fifty cents worth, maybe, maybe. So maybe we're getting about seven or eight dollars out of this. Um, so that's not going to get me into retirement, um, but anyway, it's a bit of fun. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them. I don't care whether they're positive or negative, um, you know, sticks and stones. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. That would be good. Um, hit the bell if you want to be notified by YouTube every time a, a new video comes out and uh, thanks for watching see you next time bye